Today's video is a review of the Urevo indoor exercise bike complete with a 35 pound flywheel. This bike has a belt drive system and can also connect via Bluetooth to this popular cycling Swift app. Personally for me, I love using the Peloton app for streaming cycling workouts through my phone. This bike is roughly 14% the price of a Peloton, so if you're looking to save a bit of money, consider this bike. I've actually reviewed a number of Urevo fitness products here on my channel. I have separate standalone videos for each of their treadmill models, and this is the first time for me to review one of their bike products. Currently on Urevo's site, they offer five different treadmill offerings, four bike offerings, a rowing machine, and an adjustable weight bench. All of their products are quite affordable and nothing on their site is over $600. So now I'm gonna go over a few details on this bike. Currently, this bike retails for $200 on Amazon and they also have a $30 off coupon code. This item has dimensions of 45.7 inches in length, 21.7 inches in width, and 45 inches in height. It's made of a carbon steel material and it has a maximum user weight recommendation of 265 pounds. It has a 35 pound flywheel. There are two wheels on the front of the bike for easy transportation. This bike also comes with toe cages, meaning that you don't need a separate pair of spin shoes to use this bike. This bike also has an LCD monitor and a tablet holder. And it can also be connected via Bluetooth to the popular cycling Zwift app. The seat can easily be adjusted up and down, forward and back. The handlebar also has four different positions. So here is the first impression test of this bike. I'm just about to select my workout. Here I'm using the Peloton app and I'm going to select one of their cycling workouts. So this is what the app looks like. Here is the cycling tab. Usually I like to filter the workouts based on instructor. My favorite instructor is Cody Rigsby right here. So let's just see what he has. So his most recent workout is a 20 minute pop ride. So let's go ahead and do this one. Thanks for joining me for a 20 minute pop ride. Today's playlist, we are pumping to my favorite lane. Down the street too, I know. These are tracking forward. Because this bike has toe cages, you can wear regular sneakers with a spin bike. So on this display screen, it shows the speed, the time, the distance, the calories, and there's also a section for the pulse, which those pulse sensors are right here on either side of the handlebars. So the speed on the top toggles between miles per hour and RPMs. So right now it's on the RPM number of 46. To increase and decrease the tension, you use this knob right here to increase the tension. We shift it to the right. To decrease the tension, we shift it to the left. This knob, of course, also serves as your emergency brake. To utilize that, you just press down and the bike will come to a stop. To utilize the Bluetooth function of this bike, because as you know, this bike connects via Bluetooth to the popular Cycling Zwift app. To do so, you press the reset button for two seconds. Before you get started, I would recommend that you make sure that the screws right here, adjusting the seat level are properly tightened. If they're not properly tightened, your seat may shift during your ride, so you can use the included wrench right here to tighten it. This bike does have leveling feet as most bikes do. To adjust the height, you just lift it up and then twist it whichever direction you need it to go. So now as you can see, I shake the bike and nothing is budging. Adjustment wise, one thing I wanna mention right off the bat regarding this bike is that you can't adjust the distance of the handlebars to your body. So for example, as opposed to my Peloton, these handlebars are a little bit further out than I'm accustomed to, so I do find myself reaching a bit more. 
You can adjust the height of the handlebars with this knob portion right here. And it is at an angle right here. So if I were to lower them, I suppose they would come a little bit closer to me, but I don't want my handlebars any lower than this. And currently my seat is adjusted all the way forward. You can adjust it forward and back with this knob right here. You've got three pickups. I do feel that this bike is a solid option, especially considering you can adjust the leveling feet. So if you do feel it's a little bit unsteady, you can easily adjust those feet. It does provide a great workout to get your heart rate up as well. I'd like to mention that if you do have a tablet or like to stream workout videos from your tablet, there's not really an area to hold your tablet. As you can see, it's more suited for your phone. And it does have this piece right here that can attach to the top of your phone to hold it in place. So that's actually a nice feature. It keeps your phone quite secure. This bike is also stable for the out of the saddle portions, which are the portions where you stand up. For my workouts lately, I've been loving these athletic shoes from the brand Fitville. These are the Stride Core version. The main difference between these shoes and other ones on the market is that these shoes are highly cushioned. They're easily the most cushioned shoes I own. These shoes are made with a patented Propel Core dual density sole. They're also made of a fly knit material, which is lightweight and allows your feet to breathe. These shoes are unisex and their colorways, I believe, fit both audiences. I would definitely say that these shoes are a little bit more tomboyish than what I'm accustomed to wearing. I would prefer if it's like a solid gray or a solid white color. On their site, these shoes retail for $93 and they're available in three various colorways. The amount of cushion is quite substantial on these. The cushion starts about this point right here, so that's a good inch and a half of cushion. On the back tab, it has their logo, Fitville. These shoes on their site are recommended for running, and I just use them for all of my workouts because they're so well cushioned. So these shoes run half a size to one size larger than typical. They do have free returns, so feel free to exchange them for your correct size. I ended up doing that myself. Also from this brand is a pair of sandals. These are the Arch Rebounds. These shoes come with arch and heel support. Having the proper support will help you achieve better body alignment. So this is what the package looks like when it arrives in the mail. So this bike is very well packaged. As you can see, there's a foam outer layer protecting the bike. This is what the bike looks like within the foam packaging. So here's what all the bike components look like once they're unboxed. So this is what the Urevo user manual looks like. Here we have a parts list, and here's a breakdown of the bike. Here are the assembly instructions. So here I have all the bike components set up behind me. Now we're gonna begin the assembly process. The first step is to install the front support tube. Here we have all the necessary tools required. So we're gonna attach these three pieces to the front support tube. Here we have a flat gasket, an elastic gasket, and an external hex nut. So here we have the two pedals designated left and right with the corresponding stickers. The first step is to remove the nut right here and for the left pedal, we're gonna screw it in counterclockwise. Next, we're gonna tighten it with an open end wrench and screw in the nut on the other end. For this one, we're gonna still rotate it counterclockwise. And there you go, the left pedal is installed. So here we have the right pedal. For this one, we're gonna rotate it clockwise. The next step is to pull out the cushion tube from the main frame. We're gonna install the cushion. So here I just placed the cushion on the main frame tube and I tightened it on both sides with the wrench. You wanna make sure that the seat is also level to the ground. So now we're gonna install the handlebar onto the handlebar support tube. 
So at each of the four points, I stacked a flat gasket, an elastic gasket, and a hex screw on top. Here I'm using an Allen key to tighten everything. Now we're gonna remove the four screws on the back of this LCD monitor to place it over here. So now we're gonna attach the monitor support cover. Here is the bottom piece. So I finished installing the monitor support cover, the monitor right here, and I also connected the following wires. The last step is to install the water bottle holder right here and you're good to go. So now for some overall thoughts on this product. For one, the price is quite unbeatable. Currently, it's retailing for $170 on Amazon. As you may know, Amazon prices do fluctuate, but still, that's a pretty good deal. I think this bike would be a great option for those who are considering getting into spinning but don't want to invest in a heavy-duty bike. This bike feels sturdy, it has a nice 35-pound flywheel, and it's also easy to adjust the tension with a knob. I like that this bike is a compact size and it is smaller than most treadmills, so you will save a bit of room there. With this bike, it is also easy to adjust the seat and handlebars so you can get the perfect fit. For some cons on this bike, the first thing I want to mention is that there's not really a tablet holder. To me, it's not a deal breaker, but it would have been a nice option. As shown, I can easily attach my phone to the bike so I don't have a problem streaming workouts from my phone. The other con I want to mention is that the pedals don't have an option for riding with cleats. There's no cleat attachment for either SBD or Look Delta cleats. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, especially considering you don't need to invest in a separate pair of spin shoes with cleats to use this bike. Before we close out today's video, I just want to quickly mention a pair of earbuds that I've been using for my workouts. These are the Mifo 05 Gen 2 earbuds. So these earbuds claim to last 9 hours per charge, meaning that you can play music continuously for 9 hours. These earbuds are currently available on Amazon for $109. These earbuds are noise canceling and IPX7 waterproof. These earbuds use Bluetooth 5.2, ensuring a more stable connection. These earbuds are also color coded with the blue side going in the left ear and the red color going in the right ear. There's a touch button on the left and right hand side of the earbuds. There are different controls for tapping it one, two, or three times. These earbuds also come with five different sizes of ear tips ensuring that you can find the perfect one for your ears. So this is what the box with the packaging looks like. On the inside there's this bright fluorescent yellow box. On the inside we have this charging portion and we also have this fluorescent lime green charging cable. The earbud case has a nice weighty feel to it and it's made of this nice brushed gunmetal color. It has the logo Mifo on the front and it also has a sturdy magnetic closure right here. On the top of the box, it has its slogan, make it fully optimal. If you're interested in trying these earbuds out for yourself, I do have a discount code. The code is 10O5Gen2 for 10% off. So anyways, that should do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like this video, subscribe if you're not already, and comment down below what is your thought on this product. Do you think this bike is worth it for the price point? Also, have you tried any other Urevo Fitness products? With that being said, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.